Welcome back to Daybreak, everyone. It's 725. Well, this morning, the Flowers family gives a big thank you for making the 18th annual Flower Sea Swim their biggest and most successful race yet. Joining me right now is Frank Flowers and Dara Flowers Burke. Good morning and welcome. Good, morning. Good to have morning. you both Thanks here. For having us and here. if I didn't tell you, happy Father's Day. Oh. Because you are, I'm sure, the eye of your daughter and your sons <laughs> uh, when it comes you know, when it comes to parenthood. I, and you've you've taken the Flower Sea Swim uh, from a small group of people swimming 18 years ago and now I think it was almost 800 people yeah. yesterday wow congratulations on that thank you let's tell me a little bit about it well we did I should say everybody because Dara played a major part in getting the numbers and the support of the community and all of the volunteers and everything and I mean it's like it's the swim belongs to the Cayman Islands and the people and all the expats everyone's helped so much with it. We want to first of all thank every one of them. All right. Well, as we see here, here's some video of the uh, the beginning of the race when people lined up and took off as the horn went off. But um, this year, uh, Dara, let's talk a little bit about how many people did you have and who were the top swimmers? Okay, we had 827 people <gasps> register, which is by far the most ever. So you went over your your original over the 800. <laughs> they just kept coming and we didn't know what to do. Don't say no. <laughs> I know. So then, and then actually 777, so triple seven swam. Okay, which is good and. I don't know that I don't have the full list of finishers yet, okay. but I have top finishers, of course. Um, a, a guy by the name of Alex Meyer out of the States won, and he actually broke the course record by wow. one second. <laughs> and then a little girl named Eva Fabian, um, 16 years old. I was old. just going to say, isn't she like very... Oh, she's, she's a baby. She's a baby. I could not she believe that. She is the tiniest thing on earth. Yes. She broke the female course record. Um, she swam it in 17 minutes and 47 seconds. And she broke the female course record by almost a minute. Like, wow. She's so fast. Yeah. She was only like 20 seconds off the world record. I mean, it's pretty cool. So maybe next year. In hmm. fact, she'd be actually beat all the men. Yeah, she did. Except, except for Alex. Alex. Except for the top one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I remember that. She was second. She was the second Overall. one to come in. Yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. And only 16. And was, this was her first time here? This was her first time to Cayman. Okay. She's like So the first time in our coming. waters and yes. everything. Wow. So she, her dad, who's her coach, which is really cute, yeah. was saying that, you know, next year they're going to try and go for the big one. So we'll see. So, um, what happens now? Okay, so I know that all the participants probably want to know like what, what, where they placed and how they placed. It's, it's really cool. We have flowerseaswim.com. We're going to be posting results probably by Wednesday, hopefully earlier if we can get them all done. Mm -hmm. they are, there's like a tentative list of, list of results, but we're working on the final okay. list. So hopefully either Tuesday or Wednesday we should be able to post results. People can go to flowerseaswim.com. It's broken up by male and female or overall winners. It's on an Excel sheet so they right. can just search and Easy find, their, find name. their names. It's super easy. Now, the great thing about Flower Sea Swim, and, and I correct me if I'm wrong, this is one of the biggest events that actually brings in so many international people to be a part of it. Am I correct about that? Yes. Wow. How many people did we have this year? Um, we had over 100. We're still doing the numbers, but I think we had about 150 who came in from state, the States, Australia, England, the Caribbean, Guatemala. I mean, it's really truly an international event now. And we had some FINA people who came down. FINA is like the open water organization, an organization that governs swimming in general. Right. So to have sort of some of their observers down and gave they gave us a great review, said they love the race and right. that they would recommend it as one of the best open water swims in the world. So we were very, very very excited by that. So. Yeah, and you also were featured in the March and April issue of Swimmer Magazine as one of the 13th top open water swimming. Yes. Wow. We're hoping to even get, get lower down on the list, so maybe number one next well, time. <laughs> actually, for prizes and so on, we are number one. Yeah, no, we do no, give up. Yeah, right. I know. The I was like, I said that. I sat there, I was like, like, is it going to stop? <laughs> it's like, soon they're going to pick my name, even though I only did the walk <laughs> run. My son did the swim. Oh. As well as, um, from what I understood, too, is that you you are going to take over the Pirates Week 5K swim. He is taking over. You're taking. He look at her. Dad's taking that over. She always <laughs> yeah, supports her dad. Of course you she know, is. She's good to it. We are. It's going to be in November, and obviously it's a longer distance. It's about just over three miles, so it'll be a, a narrower field. We don't expect those sorts of numbers, and we're going to encourage people who are 
fitter Super. swimmers because to swim three miles is different than swimming a mile. Okay. But I think it'll be a good turnout. It, it coalesces nicely with Pirates Week. So we're hoping to get a really nice international base and get some swimmers down to celebrate nice. Pirates Week and celebrate our beautiful water. Absolutely. Okay, we are out of time, but I want to give you some time to say a huge thank you to some of your sponsors. Huge plus thank plus you to the 200, and pl 200 plus volunteers that helped to make this possible. And all of our major sponsors, Department of Tourism, Ministry of Tourism, Cayman Airways, Ministry of Sports, Digicel, Cayman National, CUC, DART, Red Sail Sports, Kirk Beverages, of course, the Ritz Carlton, and lots of other wonderful people. And Robert are, Judy, too. And I specifically mean, oh. Robert Judy. We don't like to call out specific volunteers, but, him, but he was great this year. Really? And all of our volunteers all are always wanted. amazing. Well, I was so. there. It was a great success. Thank everybody you. took care of everybody. I love the way the volunteers took care of everyone. They were they so were professional great. about so it. So professional. Job well done. Mr. Frankie, I'll let you say the last words to our viewers this morning. Well, I just want to thank everyone again for your participants and for your support. And remember the Sunrise Adult Training Center. Absolutely. That's our focus. So any donation anyone want to make or any of the businesses want to make donations to that, they can get in contact with me or Dara. All right, and I have to say a huge thank you to both of you because those Cayman flags, oh, the, yeah. uh, the, uh, there's 27 boys who are going to Minnesota and they needed flags. Oh. It was hard for us to find them oh. on the island and you guys donated it to them. So on behalf of the Academy Sports Club, thank oh. you for the flags. <laughs> have a wonderful day, guys. We <laughs> love you. you. We'll look forward to next year. Thank All right. You.